Hi everyone, today I'll show how to use an SD card or micro SD card inside Nerd. First, we will need a micro SD card adapter like this one. It's easy to find it in the eBay or AliExpress and so on. And we use this board adapter with the STM32F103 minimum board. So I will show you step by step how to compile the Nurex and how to wire the, the cables to get this board connected to STM32F103 minimum board and how to access the file inside the micro SD card in this case. Okay? So let's get started. Okay. So it starts opening the uh, Linux terminal. Okay. Uh, we have a red uh, Nerd space with the Nerd kernel and application we did in the in previous video. So let's enter inside it. Nerd space, Nerd. Now we need to execute make this clean to clear previous configuration. It's always a good idea to make uh, this clean uh, before you try a new configuration because uh, it can it can get trash and compile object compile object from previous compilation. So always do make this clean to get a safe compilation, a clear compilation. I mean, so enter inside tools, execute execute configure s8 stm. 32F 103 minimum slash NSH. Now go to root directory and execute make menu config. So uh, I forgot to, to explain a little bit about this micro SD card adapter. It uses the SPI to read the SD card. So we need to select first the SPI to, to use the SD card drive with SPI interface. So we need to enter inside the system type, go to STM peripheral support, Select, select STI1, exit. Now we need to go to device drivers and select MMC SD driver support. Here you can disable uh, MMC card support because we just need SD card, we don't need to use a MMC card. It's a similar card, but the uh, the protocol is different, so we don't need to select it. Also, this SD card adapter don't have the card detection pin, so we need to deselect the MMC SD card detection. Okay, now we need to go to file systems, we need to select writable file system if you want to write inside the micro SD card, I think you want, so it's a good idea to select it. And now we need to select the FAT file system, so select it, if you want uh, file name with uppercase and lowercase letters, 
characters, you need to select the fat app lower names. Also, if you want uh, files with big names, with names uh, more than eight characters, you need to select fat long file names. Basically, here that is it. Now you can move to next options. So go to application configuration. Now go to NSH library here in MMC SD SPI device number you need to change from 0 to 1 because we are going to use the SPI 1 so this board don't have SPI 0 ok, change it from 0 to 1 and exit, exit, exit again, save and now just execute make ok, I will finish this part for now and uh, while it is compiled and you show how to flash the firmware and wire the wire the adapter to STM32F 103 minimum board okay okay now I will show how to wire the micro SD card adapter to connect in the STM32F 103 minimum board. So first I will, I will use a wire to connect the GND, the ground, to the STM32 ground. So I will use the this this pin, let's see if you can see it from here, okay, the second wire is the VCC, okay, I will connect to 5 volts is the, this pin. So, why I am connected to 5 volt? Well, because this adapter has a voltage regulator. So, you can wire 5 volts and it will convert to 3.3 volts. Okay? So, next, next pin is the MISO, the SPI pin. I will connect the MISO to PA6 PA6 is this side P in A6 here in the board OK now I will connect the MOSI to PA7 OK MOSI is connected now I will connect the clock okay to PA5 and finally I will connect the chip select or CS to PA4 okay now everything everything is connected okay and here also connected okay now I will use the USB connector to power up the board and I use the ST-Link programmer so uh, because I will connect the power supply over the USB, I don't need to use the 3.3 volt as I explained it in the previous video. So I just need to wire the ground, the D clock, and the DIO. Okay, so 
I overlap the USB cable. Connect the programmer. And let's see. Okay, the the board is powered. So now I will you I will execute the OpenOCD to program the to, to program the firmware inside the board. So let's do it. Okay, it's flashing. Okay, done. Now I can remove the the ASCII link, I don't need it now and I need to wire the USB serial serial uh, USB serial adapter to uh, to serial console of the STM32 F103 minimum board so let's connect the the ground the receiver pin I will connect to PA9 and the transmitter pin I will connect to PA10 so now I can plug in the in the computer and I will execute minicom okay now I will reset the board and not it started ah I forgot a uh, detail I I didn't put the uh, the SD card inside the board inside the adapter so I need to restart the the board again here to okay now I can see uh, in the slash dev is the mmcsd0 is there okay it is there so I will mount it mount minus t v fat slash dev slash mmc sd zero space slash mnt okay it's mounted so i will list ls mnt okay there is a testing file i i wrote i wrote in the in the sd card using the computer so i will see the the content of the file so cat mnt testing dot txt okay i can see the the test this is a test sorry this is a test if you can read it then you can you got the sd card support working on it okay now i can uh, write some file inside the sd card for example i use the echo this is a test to mnt new test dot txt okay now I use cat again to see the context the con the content of file okay that is it the the drive is working and you can use the sd card to save file save log and so on it's up to you okay see you in the next video